is weighing. Oh, yes, you can help me. Oh, yes. I'm a child of the king. His royal blood now flows through my veins. And I, who was wretched and poor, now can sing. Praise God, praise God, I'm a child of the King. Now I am a child of this heavenly home. For my Holy Father, He's made me His own. I've been born by His blood, and I've been clothed with His love. And someday I'll sing with the angels above. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of the King. His royal blood now flows through my veins. And I, who was wretched and poor, now can sing. Praise God, praise God. I'm a child of the King. They tell me that one day there was an old man wandered along the highway, tarred, worried, and hungry. As he traveled along, he come to a wealthy farmer's home and stopped and knocked at the door. The farmer answered the call, looking out on the old man, the old man looking up at him, saying, Sir, I'm tarred, worried, and hungry. I wonder if you have a place you'd let me sleep and some food you'd give me to eat. And sir, I don't want you to feel like I'm begging you for it. If you've got some work to do, I'm willing to do the work for it. And as he talked, compassion struck the farmer's heart. And he said, yes, sir, I've got a ditch to be dug going from my barn into the meadow. If you'll dig that ditch for me, I'll give you food to eat and a place to sleep. And when you get ready to travel on your way, I'll give you some money to travel on. And the old man looked up at him and said, Thank you, sir. And he took the job. A few days later, with his pick and shovel, he was down in the ditch working. The farmer's little boy happened by that way. And when he come near the ditch, he heard the old man saying something. He come just a little closer, and he stopped and listened. And as he listened, he heard the old man saying something like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a child of the king. His royal blood now flows through my veins. And I, who was wretched and poor, now could sing. Praise God, praise God, I'm a child of the King. The little boy, he hollered, Hey, mister, I can't understand how you're a child of the King. You told my dad the other day you was a poor man, and you didn't have a thing. You don't look like a child of a king to me. Most children of kings have the best beds to sleep on, the finest food to eat, and the best clothes to wear. You don't have neither one of them. Your beard's long. Your clothes is torn and worn. Your hair's grown out. You look more like a bum to me than you do a child of the king. And about that time, the old man raised up from the ditch. He looked at the little boy and he said, Son, he said, I'm a child of a real king. He said, My father, he's rich and he owns everything. Son, will you look down yonder in the valley? Do you see those lilies growing? My father made the lilies of the valley 
and liken himself unto them. And look yonder, boy, it's the pastor Bill. Do you see those pretty cattle? My father made them cattle and owns them and owns the cattle of a thousand hills. And look at that pretty lake of water. My father owns it and holds all the water in the palm of his hands. And listen, boy, do you hear the little birds singing? My father made the little sparrows and he feeds them and knows where they fall. And look at yonder, boy. Do you see the big sun ball? My father made it and hung it out on nothing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of a real king. And about that time, the little boy broke and he run for home. He run up to his daddy and he said, Daddy, you don't have no need of that old man down yonder. He told you wrong or me one. He told me that he was a rich man. His father was a king and owned everything. He told you he was poor. And he said that his father owned your cattle and the cattle of a thousand hills and all the water in your lake and held all the waters in the pump of his hands on the cattle of a thousand hills. The lily in the valley and locking himself onto it. Make the little sparrows and feeds them and knows where they fall. I can't understand it. And about that time the former man wretch out pulled the little boy up to him and said, son, the old man knows what he's talking about. He was telling you about God Almighty and Jesus Christ his son. And about that time I got happy and I got to thinking about a hillbilly boy with a cold mighty daddy and a washboard mama and this old boy had wandered out in the low ruts of sin. But one day when he felt he'd gone the forest and had no friend, had nobody to help him, nobody to rescue him, nobody could do him any good. The lordly Nazarene, the king of kings, come along and he reached down with his nail-scarred hands and got a hold of my feeble hand and pulled me up out of the mire clay of sin and set my feet on a solid rock and established my goings in him. And ever since that day, I've been a child of the king. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of the king. And Jesus tonight loves you. He'll be your savior tonight and your king tomorrow. If you give him a heart. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of a real king. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child. His royal blood now flows through my veins. And I, who was wretched and poor, now can sing. Praise God, praise God. I'm a child of the king. Praise God, praise God. I'm a child. Are you a child of the king? Say it again. Praise God, praise God. I'm a child. Are you happy about it? Praise God, praise God. I'm a child of the king. Now I I'm a child of this heavenly home For my holy father He's made me his own I've been bought by his blood And I've been clothed with his love And someday I'll sing with the angels above, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm a child of the king, his royal blood now flows through my veins, and I, who was wretched and poor, now can sing, praise God! 
Lord, praise God. I'm a child of the King.